In Sumerian mythology, there existed similar entities known as the Adimu. While sharing resemblances with the Babylonian Ekimu, there are notable differences between the two. The Adimu were believed to be vengeful spirits of individuals who were not given proper burials. Today, echoes of the Ekimu legend can be found in modern folklore, and their connection to blood feeding resembles that of vampires. This video will explore the origins, characteristics, and cultural impact of the Babylonian Ekimu vampire. In Babylonian mythology, the belief in vengeful spirits and vampires played a significant role. These supernatural creatures were feared for their ability to harm the living and bring misfortune. The Ekimu, a semi-spirit, semi-vampire creature, was born out of various circumstances such as improper burials, violent deaths, or dying without finding love. The Babylonians held a strong belief in the existence of vengeful spirits and vampires, considering them as entities capable of wreaking havoc and causing harm to the living. These malevolent beings were believed to have the power to possess individuals and manipulate their actions. The Akimu was a unique creature in Babylonian mythology, combining traits of both spirits and vampires. It was considered to be a semi-spirit, capable of transitioning between the ethereal and physical realms. With its ability to control others, the Akimu was a feared and vengeful entity. The creation of an Akimu was believed to be influenced by specific factors. Improper burial practices, violent deaths, dying without experiencing love, starvation, or drowning were some of the circumstances that could lead to the formation of an Akimu. These tragic events left a mark on the souls, causing their transformation into vengeful beings. The Akimu, a semi-spirit, semi-vampire creature, possesses fascinating traits and abilities that distinguish it within Babylonian mythology. The Akimu were considered bearers of misfortune and death, instilling fear in the hearts of the living. Their haunting howls in the night were believed to forewarn of an impending demise. These vengeful entities had been known to inflict diseases and provoke criminal behaviors among the living, wreaking havoc upon their victims and households. Exorcising the Akimu was no easy task, requiring significant effort and expertise. However, ancient beliefs suggested that funerary banquets and libations could potentially appease these malevolent spirits. Through participating in these rituals, it was believed that one could pacify the wrath of the Akimu and mitigate their impact on the living. Understanding the characteristics and abilities of the Akimu sheds light on the nature of these enigmatic creatures and their influence on Babylonian mythology and society. In Sumerian mythology, there existed similar entities known as the Adimu. While sharing resemblances with the Babylonian Akimu, there are notable differences between the two. The Adimu were believed to be vengeful spirits of individuals who were not given proper burials. The Adimu and the Babylonian Akimu both represented malevolent supernatural beings. However, while the Akimu was considered a semi-spirit and semi-vampire creature, the Adimu were strictly regarded as spirits. Both entities were believed to cause harm and possess individuals, spreading illness and criminal behavior. In Sumerian culture, the Adimu were known for their vengeful nature towards the living. They were believed to inflict sickness and misfortune upon their victims. It was believed that these spirits could possess individuals and influence their actions, leading them to commit crimes or engage in immoral behavior. The legend of the Babylonian Akimu vampire has left a lasting impact on various aspects of modern folklore and beliefs. Let's explore how this ancient myth has influenced vampire legends, its presence in society today, and its connection to blood feeding. The Babylonian Akimu, with its characteristics of vengefulness and bloodthirst, has played a significant role in shaping vampire legends. Its representation as a semi-spirit, semi-vampire creature has influenced the popular depiction of vampires as supernatural beings with a thirst for blood and the ability to control others. Although rarely labeled as vampires, entities similar to the Akimu are believed to exist in present-day society. Often found among the homeless, these creatures are said to dwell in decrepit inner-city areas, such as abandoned buildings, steam tunnels, or sores. While their existence may be debated, their connection to the Akimu's traits and nature cannot be overlooked. 
Another intriguing aspect is the connection between the Akimu and another Mesopotamian supernatural entity known as the Utuku. Both these creatures are associated with blood feeding, further reinforcing the similarities between the Akimu and traditional vampire lore found in other cultures. This connection provides insights into the ancient beliefs surrounding bloodthirsty entities. The legend of the Babylonian Akimu vampire has had a profound influence on supernatural entities and folklore worldwide. Its vengeful nature and connection to the undead have left a lasting impact on cultural beliefs and superstitions. The Akimu legend, originating in ancient Mesopotamia, has served as a source of inspiration for various supernatural beings found in different cultures. These entities, whether benevolent or malevolent, often share similarities with the Babylonian Ekimu. Examples include the vampire law in Eastern Europe, the Aswang in Philippine folklore, and the Vetalas in Hindu mythology. The legend of the Ekimu holds cultural significance as it has shaped beliefs and superstitions surrounding death, the afterlife, and the supernatural. In Babylonian and Sumerian cultures, rituals such as funerary banquets or libations were believed to appease the vengeful spirits and protect the living from their malevolence. Similar practices can be found in other cultures that have been influenced by the Babylonian Ekimu legend. The legend of the Babylonian Ekimu vampire has influenced the modern understanding of vampires, particularly in terms of their association with blood feeding. The connection between Ekimu and Utuku who were known to consume human blood, has contributed to the portrayal of vampires as blood-drinking creatures in literature, movies, and popular culture. This enduring connection showcases the significance of the Akimu legend in shaping the vampire archetype we know today. Overall, the impact and legacy of the Akimu legend have transcended time and borders, leaving an indelible mark on supernatural entities, cultural beliefs, and the modern understanding of vampiric creatures. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.